you got there? What's going on? Huh? What's going on here? Oh, I don't know. Hair. Hair doing hair things. So much adventure, so much wind in your hair today. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. <laughs> Today, we're driving to Interlochen from Grindelwald. It's only about 30 minutes away by car. In fact, it's fairly common to stay in Interlochen, Grindelwald, or a neighboring town and travel to another area for the day. Interlochen is a gorgeous resort town surrounded by these two brilliant emerald-colored lakes. The lakes are pretty popular with visitors and you can find people doing all sorts of lake sports and activities. Ducks. Ducks. River ducks. There we go. Wait. We're staying at our second TCS campground. The first was the TCS in Geneva, and this is the TCS Interlochen. It's located between the Briennes and the Thune Lakes. So James went to go pay a deposit to get an extension cable for our power supply. As it turns out, it wasn't 15 franc; it was 50 franc, and he didn't. We didn't have that much cash left. Uh, so. And they don't take hard. It's a cash only deposit, even though this is kind of a, a national chain of, of campsites, which is pretty odd. So he's going to give, James is going to give the front desk his ID instead. And they said they would take that, but they won't be able to give it back to us until 8.30 tomorrow morning when the office opens and we have to drop off the van at 11. So it's gonna be kind of tight. Uh, it's a really quick trip to back to Zurich, 90 minutes to two hours by car, but we still have to we have to completely pack up and clean the van out, get gas and everything, uh, and then drop our items off at our hotel where we're staying at before we leave. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a race, but I think that's kind of been the theme of the trip. So this is the guest list. Yes, this is the guest list for the TCS Interlochen, um, and so you get to sign everywhere. Uh, and then we have a lot of really tasteful 420 jokes. <laughs> Wow. Yay. Be sure to like and subscribe. Alright, <laughs> get at us. Our camper van is at the edge of the camp, so it is super convenient to get to town, which is like right here. Um, and we're staying right on the river, so I think it's a really beautiful scenario. Rain happens, so it's just part of it. It's just part of travel, but um, having the river so convenient it's just going to be an amazing way to get a lot out of this place in a short amount of time. So, let's go down too. BLS. Now this is, this is low clearance. And it looks like some people have hit their heads here. Ding dong. Who? What'd you call me? You heard me. <laughs> me too. In town, there's a popular casino, shopping, and fine dining in the area. And the main street is really pedestrian friendly. A trip to Interlochen would be complete without a visit to Hooters. Since we're only visiting for the night, we decided to explore the town, and we didn't really focus on any of those other offerings. Pay to get in or pay to get out? Pay to get in. Maybe 
All right. We should hook us up to the promenade that goes right past our campsite. A promenade? Look at you. That's the one on the map. Ready to go cook dinner? Yeah, let's we'll cook dinner. Cook some dinner and then pack up our van because we have to take it back in the morning. Yeah, it's time to take it back. Tomorrow. Let's go on a van tour. We're gonna go ahead and show you our van. It's a Volkswagen van. The top pops up, um, and there is a bed up here actually that is pulled down on hydraulics. There's actually two beds in this van. So this seat folds down, opens up completely flat, and there is a tri fold mattress in the back that you can use. Uh, and then there is this one. So technically the van sleeps four. Now we're Americans, so the van sleeps two. The first thing I want to show you is, of course, we have um, a fridge here. So this fridge, um, you know, it's got the basics. It's got a deep cage in it. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, oh, it's got beer. Aha. That's where I keep my beer. Great. Now we continue the tour. There's also a two gas burner stove, which I really appreciate having two burners. And then here is a sink uh, full of dirty dishes from our breakfast actually, oops. Uh, but it is a pump, like electric powered sink, which is really nice. It only has cold water, but if you need hot, you can warm it up on the stove. Uh, so the van comes with these two uh, cabinets right here. This one is uh, has a bunch of food stuff in it, um, bread or coffee, some chips, some spices, but it's kind of like open. Uh, I think if I own a van like this, I would put in a lot more compartmentalized storage. So you see that things are kind of rolling around. This one is actually uh, designed for dishes, but we actually have a tub that they gave us uh, that Road Surfer filled with dishes. So like pots, pans, knives, all that. So I decided instead of unpacking everything in the tub, I would use the space for something else. So we have made it into a bit of a pantry. Um, they hold on to like my dry bag and a couple of our cases, my, my, my cute little first aid kit, our laptops and tablets and camera bag and uh, CPAP machines. On the other side of this cabinet, we actually have um, two USB ports, a charging, a full on uh, usable outlet, which is powering our lights at the moment. And then these lights um, control the cabinet down here. So you can have in-cabinet inset lights. We have a built-in table, which I think has been really cool to have. Um, it just slides out and pops up just like this. And then it just snaps in just like this. It's really easy. It's, it's nice to just cut things. If someone needs to move around or something, you can actually sort of slide the table back and forth. Um, speaking of tables, there is actually a built-in table right here. So this is actually an outdoor table with pop-up legs. The same with the chairs. The chairs are actually built into the trunk. Speaking of the trunk, that's where I'm hiding our sins. There's a lot of space in the trunk. It's actually got a cover on it that can be lifted up if you need more space if you have larger items. But when the seats fold down, um, the mattress is actually stowed back there so you can actually unfold everything. What I have been using um, is this little top space here. Um, I've been just keeping this and that that I just want out of the way. So it's a really cool place to have storage. And then there's this little closet with a mirror. Hello. <laughs> so there's this little closet in here. This light comes on automatically when you open it. And I just call it a storage pit. All of our packing cubes just go right in here. And anytime we need anything, we just grab it. We just grab it out of the closet take what we need, and then I just throw it all back in there. Uh, and that's just kind of how we've been rolling this week. But it's got these two doors. It's got one pop out door like this. And it's got this little door here. There is a door just like that back here that has a couple of big shelves in it. But there's really, there's two large uh, shelves back there to hold much larger items. Um, and the door slides back just like this. So we've got a fresh tank and we have a gray water tank. No toilet in here, no indoor shower or anything, but. And then 
Um, we've got a really nice set of slide shades that are built into the windows. And there are these windows open all the way up to pop out. <laughs> you look so relaxed. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Shea May. <laughs> Um, something else we did for this trip because we knew our van wouldn't have bedding is we brought our own sheets and blankets. We ended up getting some sort of lofty camping blankets on Amazon. So they, they pack up really small. They pack up even smaller when you put them into a vacuum bag. So we ended up bringing these and we have them stored here just to keep them clean during the day and then to keep them nice and lofty and airy. But at night, you know, we'll take them out, we'll kind of shove them up. And then when we get ready to go uh, tomorrow morning and, you know, finish up our camping trip, we're gonna pack them up teeny tiny again. Um, so it definitely is really nice. And then we also brought a set of sheets. So that is, uh, that's the van tour. I think, well, it's time to make dinner. For dinner this evening, we are having bratwurst with herbs. Look how pretty. And the rest of our spatula. But I'm really excited for these sausages. That's right, this is the third night of sausage out of five nights. What did we have the other night? Well, the other night we had a bottle of wine and fondue yeah. in Geneva, so at a restaurant. Thanks for joining us on a quick trip to Interlaken. While we're not able to spend much time here this time around, we'd love to know, what are your favorite things to do in Interlaken? Comment to share your experience with us. Join us for our next video. We're returning this awesome van and preparing to head to the airport for our next journey. Thanks for getting away with the maze.